Welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to put another concept of integral called integral of fractional trigonal functions under consideration. Mostly, we got numerous of integrals that consists of fractional functions in accordance with trigonal ratios, like the integral of dx over sine x plus 5 cosine x, or the integral of dx over 5 plus 4 cosine x. Apparently, these two integrals are written according to fractional functions, containing trigonal ratios in denominator or nominator. And this is why we are calling them integral of fractional trigonometric functions. To solve these kind of integrals, we have to use variables. Generally, we have to use t as a variable equal to tangent of x and half. So, we can solve these integrals by using this variable. Here we have t equal to tangent of x and half, and I'll find the div derivative and the differentiation of this variable, I mean dt, which is equal to the derivative of tangent of x and half. And here we have this equal to the derivative of x and half, and it would be half times 1 plus tangent of x and half squared times dx. And I'll get dx with respect to dt, so here we have dx equal to 2 times dt over 1 plus t squared. So I can explicitly inform that I can approximate the variable, furthermore the differentiation of the variable. Moreover, we have to find sinus x and cosine x and other trigonal functions based on tangent x and half. So, according to the trigonometric ratios formulas, sinus x is equal to 2 times tangent of x and half over 1 plus tangent of x and half squared. So, the tangent of x and half is equal to t and sinus x would be 2t over 1 plus t squared. And cosine x would be equal to 1 minus tangent squared of x and half. And again, we'll have tangent squared of x and half equal to t, so the cosine x would be 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. In the other hand, we can easily evaluate tangent of x by dividing sinus x by cosine x. And here we have these two functions divided to each other. So that will be 2t over 1 minus t squared. Well, we have just learned how to find out trigonal ratios and variable differentiation of fractional trigonometrics. So it is time to concentrate on an example. For instance, we have the integral of second x dx. Let's assume that we do not know what second x exactly is, so I prefer to change it into other trigonal ratios that I already know well. Second x is equal to 1 over cosine x, so I preferably evaluate the integral of 1 over cosine x dx, and as it is pointed out, 1 over cosine x is a fractional trigonal function. So I can use variable forms of tangent of x and half, and the dx would be 2 dt over 1 plus t squared, as we evaluated before. And I wrote cosine x with respect to tangent x, and again we have cosine x equal to 1 minus tangent of x and half a squared over 1 plus tangent of x and half a squared. And finally we'll have 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. By plugging dx and cosine x in the formula, we'll have the integral of dx over cosine x. We put 2 dt over 1 plus t squared instead of dx and we'll have cosine x equal to 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. I'll simplify this equation and we'll have the integral of 2 dt over 1 minus t squared. Obviously, we've changed this integral of a trigonal function into a fractional algebraic function that is easier to solve. To solve this integral, we'll have to pay attention that the equation is fractional and algebraic and 
The grade of denominator is lower than denominator, so I can decomposition into prime factors. 2 over 1 minus t squared, which is actually 2 over 1 minus t times 1 plus t according to difference of 2 squares, can be converted into partial fractions. That one of them is 1 minus t and the other one is 1 plus t. And as we learned about rational fraction integrals and fractional decomposition, the grade of denominator is lower than the denominator. Denominator's grade is 1, so the grade of denominator must be 0, and it would be a constant quantity. By taking the common denominator between these two fractions, we can easily solve the constant quantities. So a is multiplied by 1 plus t and b is multiplied by 1 minus t. By factorizing, we will have t times a minus b plus a plus b over 1 minus t squared. Now we're going to get a and b quantities. So this equation would be equal to the left-hand side equation. And according to the fractional equality, denominators and nominators are equal. So the equations are equal. t times a minus b plus a plus b is equal to 2. Significantly, we're going to pay attention on this point that we have a minus b times t at the left-hand side, but there is no t at the right-hand side of the equation as a coefficient. So this is the reason why we're going to put t equal to 0. Clearly, a minus b would be equal to 0. We got a plus b at the left-hand side equal to 2. Here we have two equations and two unknowns, so it is somehow easy to solve. If I solve these equations, I'll have a equal to 1 and clearly b is equal to 1. Here, I'll put these quantities, so I'll take the integral of this equation, which would be easier to solve. So, the integral of 2 dt over 1 minus t squared would be equal to the integral of 1 over 1 minus t plus 1 over 1 plus t dt. And the integral of 1 over 1 minus t is equal to negative times ln 1 minus t, and the integral of 1 over 1 plus t is equal to ln of 1 plus t. Here we have this subtraction of two logarithmic functions. So I can write ln and the first equation will be divided by the second and the result would be ln of 1 plus t over 1 minus t. I just have to replace t with tangent of x and half, so the answer would be ln of 1 plus tangent of x and half over 1 minus tangent of x and half. Let's focus on another example. We have the integral of dx over 5 plus 4 cosine x. It is again a trigonal ratio function. So I'll put t equal to tangent of x and half as a variable and the dx would be equal to 2dt over 1 plus t squared. As we have just pointed out, cosine x would be equal to 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. I just have to plug these equations into the main equation. I'll put 2dt over 1 plus t squared instead of dt, and instead of cosine x, we'll have 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. If I take the common denominator, 5 will multiply to 1 plus t squared plus 4 times 1 minus t squared. Then I'll simplify the fraction and 1 plus t squared would be omitted. And the result of simplifying will be 5 plus 5t squared plus 4 minus 4t squared. The result of this equation is t squared plus 9. So I just have to evaluate the integral of 2 dt over t squared plus 9. It would be 2 times the integral of dt over t squared plus 9. And according to integration formulas, we'll have 2 times 1 over radical 9, which is equal to 3 
times tangent to inverse of t over radical 9, I mean 3, I'll multiply 2 in the parenthesis, we'll have 2 over 3 times tangent to inverse of t over 3, that we have t equal to tangent of x and half, so t over 3 would be tangent of x and half over 3. The result would be 2 over 3 tangent inverse of tangent x and half over 3 plus c. I hope you have already enjoyed this video. Have a nice time.